This is the new Pyro series from Hollyland. You're watching Cinity, supported by B and H and CVP. Hello, everyone. Graham Mailer Sheldon here from CineD.com. Welcome to NAB 2024. I can't believe it. We're here, and I'm joined by Randall in the Hollyland booth. Hello, Randall. How are you? I'm good, man. Thanks for asking. Appreciate you. Well, I appreciate you too. And look, we have a lot to talk about today. I guess the one thing in common is they're all uh, wireless based, right? So where do you want to start? Uh, I'm going to go with the Pyro series. So we've got a new series coming out that's going to be dropping in the near future. Biggest uh, and best upgrades are the crossover aspect. It's not only in the 5.1 to 5.8 anymore. It goes from the 2.4 or the 5.1 to 5.8. It'll jump between depending on what you want it to and what's more open in that sense, right? Uh, you also get this bigger screen of a 7-inch that it will connect with wirelessly from the transmitter itself, which is pretty awesome. I enjoy the heck out of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And well, let's let's start. So this is seven inch, right? Yep. Right. Okay. And so a built-in uh, RX, uh, talking about hopping between 2.4 gigahertz, 5.6 uh, gigahertz for just dealing with single congestion. Yeah, yeah. The transmission itself. You know what I mean? So that's the, the it'll have the ability to cross over between one of the two. A lot of times you find in stuff like this, you might have a real big clog. It's a lot of people on the 5.1 to 5.8. Well, if there's stuff in the 2.4 that I can jump in because people only have the bandwidth of audio on it, I can sneak that in if I can. You know, maybe not 4K. Again, most times 4K needs the 5.1, but you can at least get some 1080 cu cut across at that point in time. Well, when I think about Hollyland, I think of wireless, obviously, but maybe, you know, monitors might not be the first thing I think of. So were any corners cut specifically on the monitor side or is it a fully functional monitor? It has the tools you need. Um, yeah, let's hop into that. Yeah, uh, the beauty that I love about it is the ability, and again, it'll be very similar to what the Mars is. Uh, I don't have the biggest and deepest update on those yet, but again, similar with the updates of, you know, we have the LUT availability to put in there. You have the ability of zebra focus patterns, the uh, RGB waveforms, all that good stuff, right? Uh, even to the ability of, uh, what do they do? Anamorphic uh, de-squeezing, right? So the ability to do that too. Uh, you're going to have yeah. some function buttons up here as well that you can just save some simple functions on. And the biggest point that I'm going to like too on this is that it's going to have a mini SD slot to be able to put into it as well. Uh, and is that for things like uh, image capture, LUTs, things like that? Record as well. So just record. I don't know the ability yet at that point in time as far as uh, how much yet, right? But that's the plan there at that point in time. So pretty excited about that too. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then let's talk about uh, battery and just powering this system right here. Yeah, so these are just an NPF. Uh, I got the big ones on the back of the 970. The beauty there, too, is the dual, so you can hot swap, and you also got the DC availability there, too. Yeah, yeah. so really good power options. Uh, and the, even the USB-C out, uh, I'm hoping, again, not quite. I haven't gotten the specs yet, so don't hold me to this, but the, a lot of our newest stuff has a USB-C video out, too, so I'm hoping for that as well. Okay, and now this feels like a compact system for somebody like, say, uh, an AC pulling focus. So anything about the delay that you can tell me? Good question. Great question. Always, right? We're always wondering how much delay we need or what's going to you know, hold us up on that. And there is latency on some of these things, right? I'm being told it's going to be anywhere between 60 to 80 milliseconds, depending on your 4K, 1080, that kind of stuff, where you're at. Uh, so that's kind of, you know, there is that. It's a lot of director monitor kind of things. Uh, you know, but when you do come in, it'll be a lot better. We had the Mars M1, which is a great product, but it had a little bit of latency when you plugged in the HDMI directly in. We cured that on this thing too, right? So a lot of good upgrades that way. Uh, and it's going to be all part of the separate series in the Pyro too. So again, part of the connecting to more receivers, uh, the ability to do that too, which is nice. Just to nail it down a little bit, so it, it, the, the Pyro is the transmission series, is this part of the Pyro line? Can you, oh yeah, fill that in for me. Yeah, yeah. so it's going to be a whole new series. So basically the Mars is a uh, great series, going to stick around for a while, but they're kind of going to go move into a whole Pyro series, similar to what the Mars does, hopefully going to update the delay, get bigger quality here, have better quality uh, on the, uh, again, most everything, but I haven't gotten the specs yet, so I can't get too deep. But that's the idea, whole new line coming out with Pyro for video transmission, yeah, yeah. Okay, anything you can tell me about range at this point? Uh, yes, so right now, uh, 1,300 feet when you only go up to the two receivers, but if you go more than that and put it in what's called broadcast mode, that'll get you up to uh, the two receivers up to uh, 1,300 feet. So, sorry, broadcast mode is four of them. You'll get only then 600 feet roughly of range at that point in time. Okay, and the usual caveats around line of sight, right? If there's a gigantic metal wall between you and your transmitter, that's probably going to affect uh, quality. Okay, and then um, customizable buttons on the outsides? Anything else? Uh, yeah, nothing else too much other than that. Pretty much your basic is as far as sending transmission. The beauty of that is to try and stay on the you know lower end of price range for a lot of these things. I haven't got a price range on this specifically. On these little bad boys for the transmission and receiver aspect, that'll be there. Uh, these are going to go around the 600 range for the HDMI version only. And there's going to be an HDMI and SDI version. They told me about the 700 range. Uh, but I can't give out more than that, people. 
<laughs> okay, fair enough. You've been warned. Um, okay, and then in terms of powering on the transmission yeah. side here, uh, okay, great. So, so sim similar NPF that we were talking about there. You also have the DC power here as well, and a lot of our uh, Mars series, and then this one should as well. Then uh, have the USB. A lot of those though require 2.5. Uh, amp and then the 5 volt as well versus a lot of the phone charges only two still so make sure you get the right block if you're going to do it that way. Okay and I see a little uh, like 4k nifty sort of sticker on the side what does that mean exactly is this a 4k monitor is this an HD monitor? At this point I'm still pretty sure we're going to stick to the 1080 again haven't gotten quite specs but 99 we're going to stick to that we've always been able to receive the 4k from the 4k transmission here so if you wanted to send it that way you can still get it into the actual screen however yeah this will still show you at a 1080 at this point in time uh, and but that's 4k and the HDMI through the transmitter if you went to the receiver would be able to output through the HDMI into a 4k monitor if you wanted to go that route. Okay, I mean, look, it's a classic Cine D thing for you to be like, don't talk about specs. Graham follows up about <laughs> specs. So is there an app or anything for pairing these? Uh, they pair on hard, too, so I can just, you know, go into the menu on this bad boy, go into the menu on that bad boy, pair them together. Uh, that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, but there will be what's uh, going to be the Holly... Uh, the Hollyvox app, right? No, the Hollyvox for the intercom. We're going to have another app, though, that goes along with this. I don't have a name yet, sorry. But the app to have the better uh, viewing pleasure again, kind of like we do with uh, uh, the Holly View now, and then having uh, the ability to uh, monitor from there as well as do some control, too. So it's going to be very similar to the layout of what the actual uh, monitor itself is in the hard one, which is nice. Okay, so that's it from us here at the Hollyland booth at NAB 2024. We went over the brand new Pyro series from Hollyland. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to stay tuned for more continuing coverage from NAB 2024. Thanks for watching.